All right, welcome back to the pickup potting saga. I don't know if you watched that last potting video where I totally messed it up. Forgot one simple instruction, which was to let the pickup rise to the temperature of the wax before you start timing the wax penetration. Because I want to lightly pot this thing because the unpotted pickup sounds great, but it squeals. And a lot of pickups weren't potted in the old days, and that's why they, they're very touch sensitive. So I'm trying to preserve the sensitivity, but still keep it from squealing. So I just want a little bit of wax in there. But there was some discussion over the last video of, of what Fender used to pot pickups. Some say shellac, some say lacquer, some say wax, some say paraffin, some say paraffin beeswax combination. Well, I got, uh, luckily, Aaron at Rumpelstiltskin did not throw away the old coil from 1966, so he mailed it back this time with my old pickup, and it's got wax on the coil. I'll show it to you. Here it is. And, I mean, it's obvious that you can scrape, I mean, it just feels waxy, you know? So we'll look at that a little closer in a second. I'll get close up because I want to compare that to the wire on the new pickup, which looks identical to me. It's reading, I think, uh, 5.85 ohms for the neck. I've got my wax is about 155 degrees right now. I'll probably dip it in there when it gets to 150. Okay, here's the ohm reading. If anybody's interested. Um, but one thing, I, I've got a message into Aaron. So, I mean, some of these guys still have some of the old wire left. I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron pulled out some of his stash to redo this pickup because he knows it's vintage. But, I mean, look, look at that. I mean, they look identical to me. Pretty cool, a lot of wire on there. Let's see what our temperature is right now. It is at 154. So I think I'm gonna put it in there. Let me get prepared. One other tip that I came up with, I'm trying to preserve this date code on the plate. So I came up with a trick that you put a little nice clean clear teflon grease that i use on my guitar the, the super lube and i put it just a little bit over the date and that protects it from the wax and it works it worked last time let's just get this thing potted correctly this time all right i got the grease on the back you can see that on the date and we're just going to dip it in here and you'll see that the wax just forms over the pickup and causes a wax shell because the pickup's cold. And this is what happened to me last time. I didn't wait for that wax shell to, to uh, melt off and just pulled it out after a few minutes and it was a nightmare. I can see a little, a few little bubbles right now. But okay, well, I'll come back as soon as that wax shell melts off and then we'll time it for about a minute. Yeah, it's still got the shell on there. I, I had this theory, you're probably asking what's that pot doing in there? I just did it to displace the wax a little bit so it would be a little deeper. I was thinking some of those waxing pots, you know, probably four or five inches of wax and I'm thinking the hydrostatic pressure, I don't know what you call wax pressure, but uh, liquid hydrostatic uh, probably puts a little more pressure on the coil which maybe it's a good thing to keep it shallow that way I don't over wax it but it, it's not very deep right now it's, it's only about an inch and a half maybe it takes quite a while for that shell to melt it's almost all gone see a few little bubbles coming up here and there and he said it should be water thin when I pull that out. 
It looks like, uh, I think it's just about there. So I'm gonna time it for about a minute or so. Go set the timer here. All right, it's been a little over a minute. I don't see any bubbles. I don't know if that means it's completely potted or it's just not getting in there. I think I'm about ready to pull it out here. Now, the tricky part is wiping the wax off. That's where I messed up last time. All right. Should be wet and just drip off of there. Shake it a little bit. Put it right here. Squeeze. Wipe the base off. Squeeze the tops of the magnets a little bit to get the wax out of there. Now I gotta go around the coil to get that. And this is where it gets dangerous right here. When you go around that way. You don't want to touch those wires and I'm not looking at it the correct way here. Not really hard to do, but it is when you've never done it before. Everything's easier after the first time. Right, let's just hope it stops the squeal. Try to get all the wax off the magnets. Uh oh, what is this? Got a chunk here. I don't like chunks. Ow! Thing's still pretty hot. Let's see, did I? Date looks like it's still there. And I'll tell you what, if you had to do a lot of these, it wouldn't be that much fun. Yeah, well, let's hope I accomplished what I was trying to accomplish. And I'll play it tomorrow. Interesting with the heat caused the resistance to go up to 6.15, but I'm sure that has some type of an effect when you're playing a gig out in a hot stage and everything, and you're warmed up playing for an hour, and, and you say, man, that thing sounded good, and you wonder why everything changes. All right, well, we'll be back. Put it in that uh, strat and hope it doesn't squeal.